Wow. That was kind of cool. Uh, welcome. It's great to see you. It's great to see you. Terry, thank you, man. I, I'm unbelievably excited to be here today. We got a lot to talk about. What did you guys think of that hollow demo? Was that killer? Oh, my God. It blew me away. When I saw it, it blew me away. Can you imagine what we're doing? Do you know how blessed I feel to lead devices for Microsoft right now? The opportunities, all the things we're bringing together, everything we're bringing together, what Windows 10 is doing right now to thread it all perfectly together, it's mind blowing. When you see it, just look a little further, just look a little deeper, it's happening right now. And I've been doing it a short time and I gotta tell you, I'm excited about what I'm seeing, but let me just start talking to you a little bit about Lumia. Can I tell you about the new phones really quick? That's what we're gonna do. First off, this team, I've been working with them for a very short time, but I gotta tell you, the passion, the creativity, the desire, the desire to bring you the most productive products possible, it's unmatched, it's unmatched. I'm so inspired by this team, and you just think about what they're doing. They're building the best products for Windows that can possibly be made for Windows 10. And think about Windows 10. There are 110 million, did you hear that? 110 million devices in eight weeks running Windows 10. Did you, did anybody hear it? Think about what that means for the phone. The power of Windows security. The power of the Windows update keeping you fresh all the time. That same consistent UI from Windows 10 on your PC, on your Surface, to your phone. It's just awesome, and I've been, God, I've been enjoying every minute of it. Think about what comes across. Cortana, a billion questions asked. Think about one that's in your pocket. Edge, you're using it, those settings carry across in your pocket. Super powerful. The full office, the best Outlook client you can find anywhere. Let me just say this, the best mail client on the planet, on this phone. But what is it? Who brings it to life? What does it come with? Let me introduce you to the Lumia 950 family. I'm gonna to talk to you about the phone, but before we jump in too far, I wanna talk about the hardware just a little bit, just, just give you a little glimpse of what's happening in the technology and what this team, what this Lumia team has put together, which I think is pretty powerful and for me has been super powerful. Let's start with the antennas and always being connected. It's a principle of mine, I wanna share it with you. Kinda of want you to feel it. And we're just getting started here, but these, these antennas, these are generations in the making. Okay, there are two antennas in this product, but why? Why? Why two? Who puts two? And they are vast, and they are some of the best on the planet. It's like, literally, it's like it's this whole thing of pushing more than one phone in a phone. Because when you hold it, when you're holding your phone up like you're doing right now, no matter where you're holding it, we will choose for you to give you the best connection you could possibly have. What's a phone all about? What is a phone? Start with what a phone is. Staying connected, and that's what that does. It's a great tech. On top of that, that's cool, yeah. That was totally for the geeks in the room, by the way. I'm so glad you appreciate it, man, because I love that. All right, we also have the OctaCore and HexaCore processors. I have two phones to introduce you to today. We have the 950, which uses the HexaCore processor, and the 950XL, which uses the OctaCore. We use the latest Qualcomm technology, and we push that technology to every limit possible. We push it by using tablet class liquid cooling, literally coming from our Surface team into our phones because what we wanted was to push these machines as hard as we possibly could because we want to make them as productive as possible because we want to bring Windows 10 to life in your pocket. That's the whole goal. And that's what the Lumia team has done. It is just phenomenal technology. The phones come with a 5.2 inch and a 5.7 inch screen. They're absolutely beautiful organic LEDs. Yep, they're gorgeous. These things are 500 DPI. You put your eyes on this screen, it's super soft. You'll never see a pixel. This is all simple. You know this. You know it because I saw you write about it already, so I'm just blowing through. <laughs> I know, which was terrible, by the way. Can you not do that next time? I don't, ruins my moment. What I love about LED, I'm gonna just share with you. Look, I'm always moving, I'm moving fast, and my children are at home watching. But I will tell you, one of my big things in life is to be more present when I'm at home, be more present with my team when we're sitting around making a phone or a Surface, like this is a big deal for me. Well, here's something that Windows 10 has done and has lit me up and has helped me so much. When you pull your phone out of your pocket, you can't see this because it's so dim, 
but you pull your phone out of the pocket, you don't have to push a button, you don't have to do anything. I get so much information in the glance screen technology. Let me relate this to the OLED screen. We can light up the pixels we want to light up. And now I have a picture of my kids. I know what my next meeting is. It says I'm supposed to be here. That's good. I also know how many mails I have, how many texts I have, what time is it, what date is it. I didn't touch anything. And by the way, I'm using zero battery life while I stand here and get all that information. Zero. Now granted, it's not the best thing to say, hey, I'm super present by glancing and putting it away, but it's a lot better than me turning on my phone, logging in, finding what I wanted to find. I mean, it keeps me there, it's so important. Now being present and being connected with your family, that's a big deal, right? Would you guys agree? Somebody in here has a family, right? You agree with that? Yeah, it's super important to me. I think you're gonna feel that with all our products today, but here's what I'll tell you. There's probably nothing more important on the, ca on the phone right now than a camera. Being connected, yes. Full power and performance, yes. Think about the heritage of Lumia. Think about the Lumia 1020 that came out and started to change the way people thought about cameras off the back of the devices. Now you probably have a product in your pocket right now that has a great camera on it. But I will tell you, all the generations of work that have come into the camera on these new products will blow your mind. It's got a 20 megapixel sensor, which is just beautiful. It's unbelievable in low light. So if you're taking a picture in low light, you will get the full sensor, the full camera, the full picture you want. If you wanted to use the flash, we have a triple RGB flash off the back of the product. What does that mean? I know in words, here's what it means. When you take a picture, there's no red eye. Here's what it means. When you take a picture, you don't look like a ghost. You look like a human. You get the true color coming off. In the product, we have an optical image stabilizer. This is a really cool part of the technology. It's five generations in the making. I, this is the part where I look at it and go, oh, my, I'm so inspired. I'm so pumped for what we can do. So pumped. It literally, for me, I cannot take a picture to save my life. Every time I take one, it's blurry. You take a picture with this phone, that stabilizer, I don't care if the image is moving or I'm moving. It's going to be clear. It is absolutely a gorgeous, gorgeous camera. Now, I'm going to talk to you. <clears throat> We've talked in the past some of the principles of product making. Sometimes the smallest little, smallest little feature on a product, just the smallest one, can have the biggest impact. We've talked about this before. If you've been with me for a while, you know we believe in this. This was something that was important to me on these products. I just, as a kid growing up, every camera I picked up, do you know how I took a picture? I used to push a button. I know times are changing and you can take a picture touching your screens, do that all day but I used to push a button, this button, I'd push it. And just because I pushed it, as simple as that was, I'm now taking, <laughs> I'm taking you in 4K video right now, as it turns out. So that little moment you had, check it out. Now I'm taking me, which is super weird, but you get the point. Literally, I just push a button and take it out of my pocket. I know it's small, man, it's super powerful, but you know what else would just happen? All that information just went to the cloud. I have it forever. It's awesome. This phone has 32 gigs. If you wanted to store it, store it. You've got so much storage. You know what else Windows 10 allows you to do? It allows you to expand that memory. You know what these phones let you do? They let you do that. You can push, put right now, just get an SD card, put it in there, 256 gigs, and boom, you have all that memory for your files, for your pictures, and theoretically, when the hard drives catch up, you can push this thing to a full two terabytes in my pocket, two terabytes. Is that ridiculous? <laughs> Let's talk a little bit more about something that is a bit funny to talk about. I'm talking about the connector on the bottom of this product because it makes a few points. Let me just do that really quick. There's a USB Type-C connector. There's a Type-C connector on the bottom of this product. It's called USB-C. It's a pretty cool connector. It allows us to push five gigabits per second into the product right out of the product. Super lightning fast. Here's the first thing it does for you. If you burn your phone for two days, I bet a lot of you do, and you didn't have time to charge, or you went to bed and you didn't know, and you got a thousand mails, or you let it burn, and you woke up and you're like, man, I'm almost out of battery, my day's gotta start. Plug in this charger. Literally, in less than 30 minutes, you get more than 50% charge and get yourself out of the house and get moving. That's what this connector lets you do. Important. I know, I know, they, they're fundamentals, but man, they're so important. This is what lights things up for you. Now, what's the point? You got all this processing power. We're using tablet class liquid cooling to cool these things. You got full Windows 10. It's coming to the phone. We have Office, Cortana, you have Skype, you have OneDrive. Your settings are carrying over. 
Edge is coming to life. You have the best mail client on the planet. This is supposed to be the most productive phone you've ever picked up, but what does that mean? Why do we push it? Why the octa-core? Why push it so far? Here's why. Now we want to put Windows in your pocket. 110 million people using Windows 10 right now. If you haven't thought about these phones, wake up. Spend a minute. With the universal apps coming, 110 million in eight weeks, the opportunity is unbelievable. The best way to see that, and probably the most fun way to see it, is to see how Continuum really does bring the PC from the phone. I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Brian Roper to show you what that means. Brian. Thank you, Panos. How y'all doing this morning? Oh, we're awake, we're percolating, that's awesome. You ready to see this phone? Are you ready to see the phone now? All right, now check it out. I'm gonna jump right in, I have a lot to cover. So uh, the first thing I wanna start with is what you would probably start out doing on your phone first. That's unlocking it, signing into it. Uh, you've probably likely heard of Windows Hello, the biometric authentication method that we've brought to Windows 10 PCs recently. It's that personal fun experience. I mean, for me, who has an Xbox right now? Make some noise. Yeah? It blew my mind and made me smile the first time I stood in front of my Kinect and it just smiled and said, hey, Brian. I was like, oh, me, that was great. When I saw that on PC, it lit up. And we're bringing that to, in beta to Windows Phone. So I'm, I'm going to show you Windows Hello Beta now running on a phone. Very simple experience. You'll see, uh, I'm going to show you that unlock experience now. When I pick up this phone, it's going to look for me just like that. Hey, Brian. And just like that, it unlocks. It was that fast. What do you think about that? I know. We're going to jump right in now. I want to walk you through just a couple things in the UI now. Uh, looks like we're going to get that up. Now, here we go. Uh, okay, so now, pay attention to my live, my live tiles here. Pay attention to this menu because I'm going to anchor you to this in a second. There's my little son, Max, at his birthday. Office mobile that's free included with Windows Phone. Uh, you know, universal apps that are going to scale and look great. Just take a look at that and take it in uh, because I'm going to call back to this in a second here. Um, I have a text message that I just noticed I got. This is a guy named Todd. He's like, Brian, I know you're traveling, but you owe me a deck. You got to do some stuff. You know it's bad in the work world when they start texting you. It probably means you missed a bunch of mail in the box. They're mad at you. So, so I got to get some stuff done. This is a point where I need some, maybe some PC-like productivity. Okay? And with Continuum for phone, I'm empowered to have that. I'm empowered to, to really use my phone like a PC. But how does that work? How do I do that? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna show you. Right now, I'm gonna hold this up for you. This is the Microsoft Display Dock, okay? This dock will enable me to connect my phone via that USB Type-C connection right there and utilize a large monitor, keyboard, and mouse with these little nice ports, okay, uh, to get a PC-like experience. Now, for the sake of the demo, just to save some time, I've already set one up here and plugged it into this monitor, keyboard, and mouse, so that's, that's what's going on here. But let's take a look at that experience now. Okay, what you're seeing looks like a Windows 10 desktop, doesn't it? Doesn't it? You might even be thinking, Brian, maybe you're tricking me with some demo magic. Maybe that's not really your phone. This is my phone, and I can prove it in a couple ways. Up here, you can see my signal bars. I only got one because we're in this deep building. So, so there you go. Uh, here we go. Uh, I got start. These right here are my live tiles from the phone that I showed you earlier. Remember that? Remember my little son, Max? Remember Office? These, this is my phone start menu because this is my phone. I'm going to keep hammering that back on you. This is my phone pushing this experience. All right? So now, remember... Todd told me I had a mail to open. I'm gonna open up this mail app now and actually click the, oh my gosh, y'all are blowing up Twitter. I forgot that my demo account <laughs> is my Twitter handle. That was bad, let me scroll down there. Cool, here's my mail from Todd. Uh, and you can see I have a couple, couple documents here. What I'm gonna do now is just open up some stuff to get ready to get productive. I'm gonna open up Word with a double click because there's something in there I gotta get to to do. Uh, and now, once that loads, remember, this is, look, this is the Word Universal uh, mobile app, Word Mobile. It's now scaling. This is the one that comes on the phone. It's scaling to look great on this screen. And look, all the functionality you expect is there. The welcome back message is there with one click. It takes me to where I, where I was in this document last, right? And I want to go back and open some other stuff. So how do I multitask? More PC-like experience. Look down here. My taskbar has my icons like you'd expect. The one that's running is highlighted like you would expect. With one click on Outlook, I can jump to that app and utilize it like you would expect on a PC, except this is actually a what? It's a phone, that's right. So I'll double click PowerPoint now to open that up because I'm getting my stuff ready. Got to get this deck done because Todd's texting me in the middle of this, so it must be super important. Uh, and right now, I just want to pause. This is pretty cool. I showed you the taskbar, but look, I can bring up this task switcher and also bring that up. Who's used this task switcher on Windows 10 right now? It looks the same. Okay, now, 
I'm going to pause before I do the actual cool office stuff that I'm going to show you with the copy and pasting. Just to prove to you that my phone is, is, is powering this, uh, we're going to cut now to a side by side. I'm going to show you, while I'm doing this, my phone is still a phone. You can see up here I'm connected to my monitor. But look, I can go back to my start menu, I can navigate things, I could open up and start texting people. My actual phone experience is not broken while I'm utilizing the desktop experience of Continuum. And neither is the one here. Each experience is in, in, independent and uninterrupted. So you're not blocked on any front, but the phone is powering this whole thing. Uh, now, while I have this open side by side, I want to show you something kind of cool. I talked about the power of these universal apps, how they can scale to screen sizes. Watch this. Right here on my monitor, the phone is pushing the Outlook Universal app, right? Watch this. I'm going to open it on the phone, and you're actually going to see it collapse and scale down to the phone. That's the power of a, of a universal app in action. This app does not care what screen size it is. It just adapts in real time and looks great. What do you think of that? Yeah. But now, i got to do some stuff in PowerPoint. So let me, let me get into the nitty-gritty and actually show you this. Um, I'm going to jump over to Word, because I have to put a table in the middle of this deck. That's what the mail said. So look at this. Here's Word. I want to put this table there. Guess what? I can select it, and even though my phone is powering this, I can use all the keyboard shortcuts I'm familiar with. So actually, on my keyboard now, we're going to cut to a camera where you can see my hand. Make sure that that comes up there. I actually am going to do old control uh, C, and guess how I'll switch? How about I try a little bit of Alt-Tab just to jump over to PowerPoint. Alt-Tab on my phone to switch between Office apps, that's insane, and I'll just go ahead and do control V to paste that table. I am not fitting the purple, I, even though I'm wearing it, so maybe I'm a little bit of a hypocrite. I'm going to jump to the little slate there and get the rich formatting of the table the way that I want it. It's easy to move it into place. Okay, is that insane? The phone is doing this. How can we possibly, how can we possibly make this more like a PC? I, there's one little way. Okay, I love the cloud. I use the cloud all the time. It's important to me. But I'm paranoid sometimes. I don't know about you. I'm always, always worried that I'm going to get an email from old Todd or somebody when I'm away from internet or away from a way to connect, right? So a lot of folks like me still, just as a backup, maybe carry USB drives, maybe like to expand memory in their phone like Panos talked about. We want to have our stuff with us. So what's really awesome is this Microsoft Display Dock allows me to connect USB and removable media to it and utilize it with this desktop-like experience. And check this out, I'll just go to insert and a picture. And now it defaults to the photo app because I did choose pictures. But look, I can choose a location and there's my Lexar thumb drive. Just like that, I can choose that drive, come in and by the way, I can hold control to select the stuff that I want to or shift and I can bring in these graphics. Now check it out. These are fully transparent PNGs that I just brought in from a thumb drive powered by my phone into PowerPoint that looks like a desktop because I can be productive like a boss wherever I am now. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Now I don't want to, I don't want to, I'm, I'm glad you're excited. I don't want to just talk about work though because we, we like to play too. We play on the phones. This is an amazing device for entertainment consumption. You want to watch your videos, you want to stream stuff, this is awesome. Number one, of course, you can co connect to modern monitors wirelessly for a great video streaming experience. That's great. Um, but you've seen stuff like that. What I really want to call out here is the fact that this phone is actually connected to this display, but the display dock means I'm getting full HDMI out of the back of this. That means I have full 1080p video. That means I have full, robust, ground-shaking audio coming out of that. And just to prove it to you, what I'm going to do is go over here and play this Jurassic World trailer. Listen to this. What? I'm going to stop that there. It's a relationship. I'm going to go ahead and stop that trailer now. I'll click to stop that. Oh. Did you hear that? That's insane. That's coming from a phone, folks. If you want to be productive at the top level, if you want to consume entertainment at the top level, these devices are built to let you do it, and only Windows is enabling these experiences I'm showing you right now for Continuum for Phone and that power of the HDMI out of that dock. Folks, did you like what you saw today? Well, I'm glad. I'm Brian Panos. I'm done, brother. Where you at, Pete? Come on back. Thank you, folks. That's my time. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Thanks, Brian. A lot of fun. Hey, this is the 950 and the 950 XL. You just saw Continuum. You just saw the power of the PC through the phone. You saw Windows Hello come to life for the first time on a phone, which is super cool. That is the power of Windows. That is the power of putting Windows in your pocket. I mean, these phones really do 
these, really, these phones really do start to act like a PC. It's super powerful. So you know the products start at 549. They're available in November. Make sure you go and check them out for sure. Before I wrap up, one more note. Just one more note on Lumia and phones, and I'll wrap up phones for you. But before I do that, I want to mention a different product that we're also shipping this holiday. It's a different way to think. This is a Lumia 550. It's a much more affordable phone. And if you just wanted to leap into this ecosystem, it's got a quad-core processor. It's full LTE. It's a great product. It's got a great camera. It's available in December. And it's a pretty cool thing. What did you guys think of Lumia? It's very cool. Yeah. So I'm guessing you want to talk about Surface.